Lambert Acres here, and we are going to be starting a review on this. What is this? Well, this is a blind kit. So basically, it's a skirted piece of material that goes around my blind, stops wind from coming in, rain, um, and uh, well, and it basically disguises you so that way you can move uh, basically from here down and the deer won't see it uh, and they won't see your your outline they'll see basically from here up of, of an outline so this is what it is uh this is from hawk and um the camo pattern is epic camo and it says easy tie attachment it's a two man ladder blind kit so the top of this is a velcro that it'll it velcros over my shooting rail okay so this goes right over your shooting rail your shooting rail is going to go right around here so the velcro all around the top and it has a zipper right in the middle it's 10 foot long there's the zipper so it's 10 foot uh by 45 inches high so uh, my shooting rail is about i want to say probably about 45 inches high so and then the strings on the bottom right here are going to tie to the uh the bottom mesh part of my tree stand so this is a look at the box uh like i said it's a hawk universal it's, it says it's weatherproof fabric is weatherproof to keep you concealed and prevent ripping Easy entry uh, centered zipper for easy entry or exit. It's a universal, so it's an extra large size concealment for most two man stands. Um, it says recommended for the Big Denali and the Sasquatch, which I have a muddy stand, so. Out of Texas. All right, there you go. You're going to see a view of uh, it right now, and I'm mostly going to talk about the actual roof because I put it on Crooked and I think it's funny. So I'm going to talk about that, but you're going to get a good view of it from up there, and then you're going to get a view from inside, and then um, we're going to hunt with it, and then probably a few times, and then we'll do an overall review at the end. All right, so here you can see the bottom view of it. It's a 20-foot stand. And so that is just what I basically did as I stood up and so my head didn't touch the edges. Uh, that's where I mounted it. But you can see what I mean by it's kind of cockeyed, um, which like I said, doesn't really affect me in the stand. It still keeps me dry. But there you go. That is what it looks like from down here. And like I said, I'll do some reviews. Those will be next. All right, so we are in the stand now. And the one thing I do not like is first of all you can see like this is like stressing that's what those marks would indicate to me that those are stress marks second when the wind blows like it takes it comes in my area so i think next year i'm going to try to fix that with some zip ties or something and then third it makes that it's very loud okay so now we're going to take this down um we're going to go inside we're gonna give it a proper review inside because it's kind of chilly out here, actually. All right, so we are finishing our review on the Universal Two Man Ladder Blind Kit from Hawk. All right, this is the box it came in. Uh, easy entry, center zipper for easy entry and exit. The zipper is very loud. Uh, weatherproof, uh, fabric is weatherproof to keep you concealed and prevent ripping. It did not rip, uh, so I will say that. And this says it's 10 foot by 45 inches high, 10 foot long by 45 inches high. That's accurate. Uh, let's see, their website is gonna be hawkhunting.com. But uh, easy tie attachments quickly tie down and conceal with attachment straps. 
pieces of fabric is what that is. We'll, we'll work on that next year, uh, changing that out. So that, uh, that's that. So if you look at the back, the weatherproofing actually part is all cracked, okay? This, is, this has only been up for two months. And I got cracks all over the back of it. Um, that's from wind moving it, okay? Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I will say the only thing I really did like is that the top here is uh, Velcro. You just go right over your shooting bar. And it did actually rip right here where it rubbed on the corner uh, where it was tied. I think next year what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew loops uh, like every eight inches or so, six to eight inches, and then zip tie those to the bottom of my stand. Um, I think that would be ideal. Uh, just loops all around the side, just from uh, like a cargo strap that you, know, you don't need anymore. I'll just cut some out of there. But uh, like I said, the zipper's loud. Um, wasn't a huge fan of that, so a lot of times I left it unzipped if I knew I was going to be hunting the, the next night, and then I would zip it uh, when I got up in the stand. I seem to uh, enjoy that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and give this a score. So zero being the worst, hundred being the best score that you could give a product. We would give this a score of. Um, I'd say it did stop air from hitting my legs. However, uh, you know, it's gonna come right up the bottom of the grate anyway. I don't know what I was expecting when I uh, sought out to get one of these, but uh, I mean, you could just use a burlap sack. Um, but since I already have this, I will try to utilize it uh, and keep it going the, the longest I can. Um, I would give it a score of 65 so it does work in the fact that it covers your movement however when that wind is hitting it like it's i think it's causing more noise than normal and the deer are probably going to stay away from that area in my opinion uh, because it just sounds like a, a flag flapping full you know full speed so there we go. I'm going to fold it back up, put it back in the box, and then, um, you know, we'll go from there. Like I said, I'll use it again next year. Uh, I only put it out there um, before the hunting season, and then after I am done shooting a deer, I take it down. So it's not up there in, in extreme weather either. So, but did it work? Yeah. Uh, should I, you've spent some extra money and got something a little bit different, probably, probably. Uh, or alter it to where, before the season starts, where it can best suit you, probably. And maybe even put like a, uh, a burlap sack behind it, so that way, because burlap sack doesn't stop the wind from coming through, but this would. So maybe burlap sack behind it, maybe trap a little bit more heat in, and then maybe it also wouldn't be like slapping the metal, that burlap sack could be absorbing the sound. I don't know, maybe we'll give that a try. We'll, we'll see next year, and maybe we'll do a video about it for you. Uh, but there you go. All right. There you go. That's my honest review. Is it worth it? I mean, if you got extra money and you need something, throw something up real quick, then yeah. Otherwise, work with a little bit. To tie, uh, some extra tie-on straps on there with some zip ties and... Um, is it going to last forever? No, it's not going to last forever. So you're going to get two seasons out of this if you do what I do and take it down after you're done shooting a deer. Um, if you leave it up, you're going to get one season out of this. So there you go. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share this video, share this channel. That's how the channel grows. And uh, keep hunting.